All right, today I'm going to uh, be making a little bit of an update on uh, jailbreaking uh, version 1.1.3. Um, BSD subsystem has been updated, uh, community source has been updated. Um, a couple of things have been updated to newer versions. Um, it changed um, the jailbreak a little bit. Uh, not much, everything pretty much stays the same, but there is like uh, one area where you got to answer yes or no. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just redo the video. Uh, one thing is if I go to my website ipodtouch.blogspot.com and uh, download the firmware I have there um, I haven't had any issues a lot of the other people have had with the uh, freezing of uh, firmware 1.3 um, done some uh, research reading around a lot of people seem to think it has to maybe do with the actual firmware like it's an uh, Apple thing not so much as a jailbreak um, issue so uh, just download uh, the firmware I got. I haven't had any issues um, that a lot of other people have with freezing and other uh, things. One other thing I would uh, highly recommend um, downgrading down to 1.1.1 uh, jailbreaking that and then uh, upgrading and to 1.2 uh, and then jailbreaking that. Um, you do got to be in uh, um, jailbroken 1.1.2 to uh, jailbreak version 1.3 um, if you don't know how to jailbreak either one of those uh, two versions watch my other videos but every time that I've jailbroken 1.1.3 I started out from uh, a fresh jailbreak of 1.1 and 1.2 um, I didn't bother installing any apps or anything just uh, jailbroke my way up um, and then jailbroke 1.1.3 and I've had zero issues with uh, 1.3. Um, that's just something that I highly would uh, recommend you doing. Alright, you're going to want to make sure and uh, set your uh, iPod or iPhone to um, never lock. So uh, you're going to want to um, go into settings, then general, then you're going to go to um, auto lock, and you're going to want to select um, never. Go ahead and click home. You're also going to want to uh, hold or click Alt, Control, and Delete at the same time. Bring up this window task manager because you want to go ahead and uh, end the processes that are running that have the word a uh, iPod or Apple in them. So iPod services and process. Uh, let's see. iTunes helper. Apple device services and I think that's all that I got going but uh, anything that has iTunes or Apple in it it's in the process all right at this point you're going to want to uh, go into uh, win SCP uh, if you don't have this program downloaded or don't know how to use it or set it up uh, you can watch my other video on uh, how to do that so go ahead and uh, log in uh, make sure your uh, iPod's connected before you try logging in. Okay, yes. Um, I'll maximize that. When you open up, you're going to be in backslash private blast, backslash VAR backslash root. You want to click this little folder with the up arrow on it and go up one. So now you're going to want to be in this um, directory. I'm going to show you what it should be backslash private backslash uh, VAR. Okay, now at this point, on the left hand side is your uh, hard drive of your computer. You're going to want to go to um, wherever you downloaded your uh, firmware. You're going to want to left click and drag 1.3 firmware over and let go. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and click um, copy. It uh, does take a, take a little while because it's a pretty big file. So uh, I'll come back when it's done uh, transferring. While this uh, file is transferring, um, go into installer. You're going to want to uh, install a couple programs. Uh, one thing you're going to want to install if you really don't have it installed is a uh, 
its community sources. Um, it's located in the uh, sources folder. Um, I gotta install mine, or actually I gotta update mine to uh, the newest version of uh, 3.5 and I also gotta update uh, my installer so I'm gonna go ahead and do those two things and I'll uh, come back once I've uh, finished uh, updating those two. This one's pretty quick. Um, but yeah, while the, your file is transferring, just go into installer and either install or update um, community sources. Update. Come up with this, click OK. Now it's refreshing sources. Um, Sometimes it does take a little while to uh, refresh the sources, so just uh, be, be patient. And I'll come back when that's done. Alright, I finished uh, refreshing. Next thing you want to go to uh, install is uh, say so click on install and go to system. And you're going to want to install BSD subsystem. Um, or if you already have it installed, just make sure you uh, update it to the latest version. The newest version is uh, 2.1. Uh, this version is 5.1 megabytes, so it'll take a little bit. It won't take too long, though. Um, I'm actually uploading some files, so my download's going to be a little slower than usual. I'm going to go ahead and click install. Let's go download the package. Um, I'll come back when it's done uh, downloading. Alright, it's uh, finished downloading. Click OK. And then it will uh, install the package. I'll come back when that's finished. Alright, that's done. Um, once this is done um, transferring, uh, what you want to do is uh, right click on the file, go down to rename. You're going to want to rename this uh, restore.zip. And just left click off of it. Okay, it's restore.zip. Right, at this point, go back to your iPod or iPhone. You're going to scroll down to let me see, system. And you're going to want to click on official 1.0.3 operator. Uh, if you don't see that, uh, try going down to your uh, sources, then click and refresh, and then going back to uh, system. So at this point, we go ahead and uh, Click install. Click install. Let's go download the package. Click the home button. Unlock it. Now you have this new icon called upgrade. Click on that. It's going to tell you you like to restore your device. Recommended. All content, settings, and music will be deleted. Um, at this point, you can go ahead and click uh, yes. Um, you can click no. It, you know you won't lose your music and all that stuff. But it is recommended that you do. Um, that's obviously up to do whatever, up to you whatever you want to do. But it is recommended that you do. Because um, all you got to do to get your music and stuff back is just sync it with iTunes. So it's no big deal. Um, so now it's extracting, and uh, I'll come back when it's uh, done with this part.